Hey out there on YouTube land, um, this is Kuda Slayer, aka Daytime Member of the Beast again. Um, in today's episode of the uh, Scrap Pile, um, this is where I discuss, uh, and I'll squeak my chair a lot, um, this, I discuss uh, some old ideas I had for um, role playing game settings that um, either just didn't pan out or never can get beyond the designing stage. Um, to where I can actually use it for, um, for you know, get my players um, a setting to play in. Um, in this case, um, I originally was inspired, or at least tempted, by the uh, Super Deformed Mech 10 rules. Um, basically, these are kind of um, silly rules where there's not really destruction in mind, but um, you. Um, Basically, it's more comical, cartoonish type of combat um, aspect to the game, and I was I was always kind of tempted to use these rules, but never can quite figure for something I could use them for. Um, I didn't want to, you know, play a typical, um, you know, SD Gundam type setting since my uh, players really wouldn't be too familiar with that, even though they knew what Gundam was. Um, so I kind of try to think of something that would be a little bit more cute. And so um, I decided I would combine um, at least a few of my favorite things. One, um, idol singers, uh, power armor, and pro wrestling. Um, never really had a name for it, but um, the... Um, Pro Idol Singer Wrestling League uh, was uh, kind of an idea I was playing with quite a while. Um, I thought it would be a good idea to um, com you know, combine the two. I had various characters like um, one uh, who was by daytime was an ice cream salesman. Well, they're all at night during the um, the big league uh, games and so uh, wrestling games. Um, her little push cart would turn into a, her power armor and she would use cold base attacks uh, against her opponents uh, it really I think kind of that was a good idea unfortunately there was a little bit of backlash um, against it um, you know some uh, some people kind of saw it as uh, exploitation um, of women while others just never really can get their and get, get any interest in, involved with it. Um, I was, it was really, I always kind of thought that was kind of sad that um, I never can get get it off the ground like that. And, and it's kind of annoying because um, sometime later after that debacle, um, someone proposed a similar idea and that idea took off. And um, so, but you know, I don't, Try not to have any sour grapes about that, but again, um, I thought it would have been a good idea to uh, give um, you know players something a little a different way to pl um, you know attack combat or um, interact with uh, each other just by using um, the uh, as I said the uh, SD uh, the super deformed mechton uh, rules. Uh, well, basically, like, like I said, it just turns everything into cartoon violence so but anyway um that's i share this story mainly just kind of kind of show that uh or at least share that um uh, you know not every idea is uh, you know it will be accepted or even have to be you know that high brow i was kind of um you know, I, was, I kind of thought it would be interesting just not only to knock, them out, knock your opponent out physically, but um, you know, go as far as, I um, mean, like in pro wrestling, you know, bring in some other kind of extra theatrics to, um, you know, progress the, the narrative, as it were. But uh, anyway, um, you know, sometimes the, the strangers of rules or options kind of uh, can inspire us in the strangest of ways and uh, you know it's kind of why I share this story so anyway um, 
and catch y'all next time and uh, we'll see what else uh, we can pick out the, the scrap pile and discuss as well. Uh, catch y'all later. Bye.